Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge. This little guy is just waking up from his little nap at three o'clock in the morning. Alfie is also awake and wanting mom, it looks like. Um, how's she doing? She's, she's good to go. Uh, he kind of needs to potty. So I kind of forgot that it was Harvest Fest in my game and I was playing off camera a little bit yesterday, uh, so prior to recording this, and um, almost forgot about Harvest Fest, so I had to have her like quickly <laughs> make the freaking grand meal, and we had to do all that within like an hour left. Um, so yeah, I forgot about that. I mostly skipped past it because they weren't going to school, and <laughs> I was very upset. But as you can see, we did decorate a little bit. I just, I just clicked the boxes. We didn't do too much. Um, okay, so... A, I think he's actually ready to be aged up. Yes, he is. His imagination was like through the freaking roof, this kid. Um, and I th think we're pretty close. That's not the right button. We're pretty close with Elfie as well. We need to have her put her toe in her mouth. So playing on the play mat with toys and stuff like that. And then I want to do the laughing one. And then we can, I'm going to be feel comfortable aging her up. Um, what are you doing with her? I want you to put her down here so she can play on there. Uh, yeah, you can see the gnomes. Um, the gnomes. We're just going to put them in our inventory for the rest of eternity. That's where you guys get to live now. Congratulations. Did you... I mean, she's scooting along, but I would really like her to be put here. Peggy does not do anything I tell her to, by the way. Again, I was trying to play this off camera a little bit. <laughs> My husband's like, why do you keep yelling at your sims? I'm like, she's not listening. No matter how many times I told her to keep feeding kids, she was not doing it. She wouldn't potty train. Now she's just standing here. I don't... I don't know what she's doing. She's so buggy lately and I don't get it. I I wouldn't think it's the save just because it's slightly older. I don't think it's like, that's the case, but who knows? Maybe it is. Um, oh, you're getting stinky. <sighs> Luckily, they do have school today. Um, she actually did an extra credit thing for homework. Um, sister did not. <laughs> So we'll see how their grades turn out here. Um, oh, I need to get a skill for him to level four. Crap. Um, listen, social should be easy enough. Have you have you slept enough? Probably not. Um, I really need to put a computer upstairs in all honesty. Go chat in the kids chat room for a little bit. Too many sweets cause the death of your teeth. Thanks. He has two loose teeth, by the way. Like he hasn't, he lost a tooth and now he has another one. Um, so, you know, he's not doing so hot with that. Did someone leave this out? Ugh. Proof that it was, you know, Harvest Fest. Anyway, we are going to grab our cake because it is time for... What's his name? <laughs> it's time for Dwight's birthday. There we go. So we are going to help blow out candles for Mr. Dwight. You, ma'am... You are going to play with the toys and look at the toys. There you go. Enjoy. There are just plates freaking everywhere right now. Freaking everywhere. Oh, happy birthday, Dwight. I'm really hoping for Anakin, but with his skills being low, I don't think he's going to become an A student today, which is kind of a bummer. Where are you going? I hate when they walk around to age up. Like, why is this a thing that happens? Kid. Come on, you got this. Good job, kiddo. You are a green fiend. And he's very social, so we're gonna go with social for him. Not sure what that outfit is. Now we're gonna get a crap ton of gifts. Oh, he's adorable. Add birthday candles. Anakin lost his tooth. Oh my gosh, Dwight, you're adorable. I, again, I will give him a makeover to put, like, his glasses back on and everything. Because that'll be super cute. Very excited. Oh, she got the laugh milestone. Good job, Elfie. Now I just need the toe and mouth one, and you're good to go, kiddo. Um, dollhouses, toys, infant play mat will help, help her. Okay, let's keep playing with your toys. Loud noises. Maybe she doesn't like the TV. Oh, she was like, oh, nope. It's too loud, mom. Why are you just sitting on the floor? <laughs> oh, Peggy. Peggy, why? Can you, can you clean this up, though? Like, we have too much stuff here. I also went through the trouble of making a family tree. 
the other day because I was like, this seems like a fantastic idea. You, my friend, are supposed to be getting your social skills up, so come come talk to your brother, okay? Um, let's not argue. Clean face. Plant Sam. Why? Um, let's do small talk. Let's get to know your brother. We just need these skills to go up, kiddo. We're on a time crunch here. I want you to become a teenager. We got stuff to achieve here. Who is texting me? Aw, oh, come on. You broke the freaking sink. We're just gonna replace it. I don't- I don't have the patience. I really don't. Excuse me. You are really supposed to be getting your social skills up and you're not doing that. So I'm gonna need you to go do that some more before you go to school. Oh, you, you're tired. Okay, well. Try to go night-night there. And you're hungry. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. No nap time. Please hold. You must eat first, child. Oh, crap. They're all going to... Go oh, no. They have to go to school. Um, okay. We're in DEFCON 5 now. I forgot. <laughs> They're going to be really stinky because I'm going to prioritize using the bathroom and getting food. Um, because that seems more... She's fine. I don't even know how that's possible, but she's good to go. Um... <laughs> She's fantastic. We're gonna have her take a shower. I don't know how you got so lucky. Oh, you really need more sleep. Oh, uh, this is not gonna go well. Here, just go to the bathroom. Just go do that. Um, and maybe you could nap on the couch for <laughs> a few minutes. Look, good to go. No, wait, no. Go. No, come on! I just, I just go to school. <laughs> just. Oh my god. Why? Why is that a thing you decided to do, little one? Um, can you wash her in the sink? Clean up Alphaba. Great. Now we're disgusting. I am having so many freaking blowouts. <laughs> And I don't have any teens here to help me. This kid is just nasty. You're just not gonna wash her. Yeah, please. Please go help her. I don't know if this will actually help. But we're gonna find out. Um, Study hard. Do the thing, kids. It's Friday. She's still nasty. Oh my lord. This is... This is not what I wanted. <laughs> This is not at all what I wanted. Toe and mouth. Oh, good. I'm glad she got that already. <laughs> uh... Kid, I know you want to talk to your mom. But listen, neither one of us are in a great mood. So I'm going to need you to <laughs> take care of yourself for a little bit, please. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't what I got. Which is Peggy being absolutely disgusting again because another baby had a blowout on her. This happens like every single time with these new kids. Uh, they're just always having blowouts on Peggy. Alpha was finally clean. Peggy is finally able to shower. <laughs> she might pass out. I. Oh my gosh. This is just not an ideal day for poor Peggy. Is she going to go into labor at some point? She's about to be in her third trimester. So around, what, like noon tomorrow, she'll be going into labor. I know, but you need to eat. Go eat, okay? And then you can just sleep here. <laughs> Please just go eat. <laughs> Dwight's pretty good. He did his homework. He's a good kiddo. We're gonna have him just go and play, I guess. Um, here, go slide. Go do that and have a good time, kiddo. Um, he is a werewolf. He's been super angry because he's cutting teeth. Oh, now he has a growth spurt. I love teenage werewolves. Okay, I need you to hurry up and finish eating because otherwise you're gonna pass out on me. That's great. I need this to hurry up because Peggy is... <laughs> oh no, no, I didn't want them to move out. <laughs> Wait, so Daisy's an A student, Clarabelle's an A student, Anakin is done with school for a week. Oh, good, she stole stuff. What did you steal? Why would you steal a baby bottle? There's plenty of them in this freaking house. But that means they're no longer teenagers. I <laughs> oh no. Maybe maybe it made a mistake. No, they're A students. Oh crap. This is 
Yep. That's not what I wanted. I mean, it is what I wanted so we can have more kids, but, like, not having them in the house is really going to suck. I'll blow out the candles. Um, I will. We're gonna keep them in the household for right now. Um, only because I do need to take their picture. And I don't feel like doing it right now. So, wait. Are you filthy? You are disgusting. Actually, like it looks like the baby had a blowout on you. <laughs> Happy birthday! You're covered in grime and stink waves. Got to add more candles though. All right. Daisy has aged up. Oh, yeah, socially awkward, I feel like, fits her. Let's see, she's a pretty good student. Um, let's do knowledge, and let's do a computer whiz. Congratulations. Happy birthday, Daisy. Need you to add some candles, and we are going to have you blow out candles next. <sighs> Great. My, my teenagers are going to be leaving me. Anakin, I really need you to be an A student. <laughs> Like, so bad. She's a green fiend. She's a klepto. She loves the outdoors. So let's do something with nature, maybe. Country caretaker. Doesn't quite seem like her style, but that's what we're going with. Cool, thanks. Um, Add candles back for me. But yeah, I'm going to keep them here for now. Um, Just until I can take their pictures and get them moved out. But for now, they're good to go. Um, You honestly really need a shower, though. So go do that for me. You, oh my gosh, you were about to pass out, child. Now, the next school day, he should become an A student. I'm going to work hard to get his skills up and everything. I do want to keep playing, though, until Blake, Blake, until Peggy has her baby. How many times am I going to call her Blake by mistake? Probably a lot. When I first loaded the save in, Blake was stomping around the house, and I, my brain did not remember that we were playing with Peggy now and not Blake, because I'm so used to her still. And I was like, why are you so angry? And I, I couldn't figure it out because she's not in my household. <laughs> it was a very sad time for me. So I also forgot to mention we do have a few new baby dads ready. Thanks to Mother Mother 18 on the gallery. Thank you so much for creating some baby daddies for us. We really needed some more. So they are already placed in the world. They are already in her little club thing. So we'll be getting to work on that soon. Oh, look at Elfie getting more milestones. Oh, wait, I think I can age her up now, right? I think, maybe? I think we can. Yeah, we totally can. Um, I'm gonna let her sleep though. Oh, well, she needs to eat. Goodness. As you can see, I was having Peggy like take the pictures already. Um, but yeah, they're still living in the house because I wanted to put- Are you like locked in here? What's the matter? What's wrong here? Go to the bathroom. No, you're fine. You were just standing there for no reason. Okay. That's fine. Here, come- Oh, I clicked on the sister. Well, listen, she's an adult now. She can help out. Again, I'm just going to cheat their knees because technically they're no longer under my care. What? Haha, -ha, you just got pranked. Some random lady just prank call phone called us? Why? What <laughs> What was even the point exactly? Why are you taking her down there? We don't want to be downstairs. Oh, yeah. This is not ideal. Um, so when this little one becomes a teenager and he starts to have his, like, werewolfiness going on, he will be staying downstairs, just like Rapunzel did, um, because we don't want to deal with that. However, it is now time to age up this little one, so let's go ahead and grab that cake out. We're having a ton of birthdays this part, which is great, but I have no teens, which is arguably not great, but we can age up Miss Elfie here. She is currently being held. Can you put her down? Maybe. Possibly put her down. Parenting level one. That's nice. It's not your kid. Put her down! <laughs> oh my god. She has morphed like right through them. That was terrifying. We're gonna pop that in there. Okay. It's now Elfie's birthday. Let's get this going. And then hopefully Peggy will have the baby this part. That's the goal, is to have a little one. All right, here we go. Happy birthday, Elfie. You are an inquisitive toddler. Oh, oh, I need a, she has a glitchy hair thing going on there. Um, <laughs> let's add birthday candles. Of course it's buggy. Why wouldn't it be, right? Um, that hair's actually really cute on her though, so we might keep it. <sighs> okay. Now we just need to wait for this freaking baby to be born because she should be having it within the next 
10 hours ish, I think, um, somewhere around that vicinity. So hopefully we'll be able to get that done. All right, we are now potty training Miss Alphaba. Everyone's awake now. It is Saturday morning. She should be going to labor pretty darn soon. Fingers crossed. Um, everyone slept through the night. She kept kind of waking up through nightmares, but you know, toddler is going to do what toddler is going to do. She's going to eat. This little one wanted to eat like spoiled food too. She was just grabbing it and it was stinky. I'm like, girl, that is, that is not the play. Really? You're not getting any fun from this? How are you not getting any fun from that? I mean, you're kind of done now, but I was trying to get a social up. You would think like chatting in the kitchen room get his fun up, but apparently it doesn't do that, which makes absolutely no sense to me. Go pee. Come on, you got this. Good job, kid. Why that's so hard? I don't know. Did you just eat too? You're not my werewolf. Good appetite. Well, good. At least you're not picky like your brother was. Because <laughs> this little guy was apparently very picky when he ate. Um, he kept letting me know how picky he was and he didn't like anything. Everything was yucky for him. So. <sighs> okay, she's good to go. Now, we have been doing some paintings just while we're waiting for baby to arrive. Um, let's do impression. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. She should be having this baby soon. Should be more lenient. Oh, so she now has a strict dynamic with Elfie, um, basically for making her be potty trained. <laughs> that's like, that's kind of a good thing to have. Who's calling me and what do you want? Cool. Um, so that's one of our candidates for a new baby daddy, which we will probably be seeing in the next part because she should be having this baby anytime soon. Or so my, if my calculations are correct. It should be very, very soon. Um, uh, so then we're going to need another, you know, victim for our lovely club here. You are talking to the plants. Are these dead? What kind of dead? It says they're in season, but I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> they, they don't look so hot. Have you done your homework? You have not done your homework, but you're going to. I know you're not having any fun, but let's get that out of the way. And then we can focus on fun later. What are you doing? You're not going to go play in the toilet. That is absolutely not what you're going to do. You are going to play draw with llama. That's what you're going to go do. Because <laughs> we're, not, we're not playing that game, kiddo. Mm -mm. There we go. Peggy has officially gone to labor. So I was pretty right about when she was going to go into labor. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, We are going to go have this baby... I already forgot the name I had in mind. I think Joey and I talked about because I'm pretty sure this is the baby of Chad Chaddington that Joey created. Um, so let's let's see what we got going on here. It's a boy. I'm pretty sure we agreed on the name Thad, which I know we stick to fandom names, but apparently this is the name of a character on a TV show that I have no idea what it is. But we're gonna go for it. Hello, Mr. Thad, you're adorable. We're gonna make a silly face. So we have a brand new baby boy in the house. Finally, we're getting some boys. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, we will see Peggy getting pregnant again. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.